Howdy ho there, people. As you can probably hear in the background, it's raining. In fact, it's a rainy Sunday afternoon. So, what does we be doing on a rainy Sunday afternoon? He edits video together. Ta-da! Um, so I got a couple pieces of footage coming up for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Unfortunately, this will be probably the last one you see with me in it for a little while because uh, I ruptured my eardrum the other day. Um, so I got to take about a month off. Only a month. I should be back in the water in time for flounder season 2020. So uh, anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Neutral, go. Yep, go. So we thought if we went the direction that we went this particular day, we would get in some nice blue water, and we surely did. Look how good the viz looks. I mean, Gar is at least 40 feet, 50 feet down below me, and you can see him clear as day. So I'd say it's 100 plus uh, visibility on this particular day. It was awesome. So Beth does a good job here. Gar just shot a uh, hogfish, um, tagged it, um, but it pulled off. So he didn't get it. But Beth pays attention, sees where the hogfish goes in the ledge, and goes down to claim her prize. <laughs> To say that Beth was upset with me is a understatement there. But I couldn't get the shaft out of the fish because it was rigged incorrectly. So it should have had a loop on the end and instead it had two snaps. So there was no way for me to actually pull that through. Uh, if I had taken my time and just, well, I don't know, uh, stuck the shaft back through and, um, you know, used the flopper as intended, well, that would probably work too. <laughs> So I had to have a chat with Beth about spear gun etiquette there. Uh, I had a uh, flash of uh, an insurance claim and Beth sitting on the beach in Maui. <laughs> Just saying. Oh! 
So this is entirely my fault, of course, but if I had not had my helmet on, I would have got a line fishing ahead right there. That's right, that lobster was a slippery rascal. I did not find him either. We didn't do too much spearfishing on this ledge, but the biz was gorgeous. It both got a slipper and uh, loaded down on some lionfish, so it wasn't too bad. She did come across this really handsome fellow on the ledge, too. Hey, that's a win-win, you know what I'm saying? I pointed out that lionfish for her to shoot because that thing was a beast. And it turned out to be quite tasty at that. So I got something special for you next. Um, apparently, Brother Fred has decided to start editing the video. He said he was inspired by my videos and he wanted to do likewise. Well, two things there that should surprise no one. One, I am truly inspirational. <laughs> two, Fred shoots a lot of fish. He should be editing the video together. Uh, anyway, so he's edited the video and sent it over to me and I'm, I'm tacking it on here for y'all to sit back and relax. And Fred does a really good job. Uh, he is kind of going through the video and explaining what he's doing, and he's almost doing it like a tutor tutor tutorial, right? So uh, he does a really good job with it. His voice is smooth and flowing. Uh, it's quite relaxing to sit down and listen to old brother Fred talk. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I did. For some reason, I brought my big gun, and what I say by that is you'll see on this dive that I am just struggling with this thing. This big gun is really made for taking one shot on a big fish. Reloading it is painful. Rob and Susan get together, maybe grab a couple line fish. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. So I see a snapper. It looks like a mangrove slap snapper, but I'm... Yeah. So I shoot it, right? I actually took a look at it and it looked orange. And now I'm going to come up to it and look at it again. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, well, that doesn't happen often, so, um, yeah, that sucks. I, so I just, we're not allowed to take those yet, so I ha had to leave it. And now I have to struggle with this long gun trying to get this thing loaded again. It takes, uh, I, I'm going to skip way ahead. It takes, like, honestly, five minutes to load it up. <laughs> You know, I'm saying fail, which is not exactly true. I, I hit the fish. It, it's on the spear. The fail comes that I don't land it. Obviously, I'm getting pretty desperate. I'm about to take a long shot. Not the best shot, you know, give, give this fish a haircut. And this is really dangerous. When they start swimming up, what can happen is the flopper can fold down and they can swim off the flopper. So what I'm doing is I pin them to the, uh, to the floor bottom and then I'm going to grab them by the neck. Okay, we just got down here. Which way do we go? Hmm, maybe that way? That looks pretty good. Nope, looks like we're going this way. Okay, you, you notice we haven't seen any fish, and that's gonna change, but not for the better because these are fish that we usually don't shoot. Check it out. It starts to get crazy. It becomes a tornado. I'm going to call this a good thing. The, the reason being is when this happened to be before, the other fish seem to be comfortable that, that you're just a fish, that you don't seem so foreign to them, and they might come out more. Okay, so universal symbol of shark over there. By the way, we never saw a shark. That thing was scared of CP. Okay, you gotta think. We have been at this for so long now. We swam forever and haven't seen a fish until now. It was a nice fish. <laughs> 